Ever since a reboot of the Fantastic Four was announced, many fans and commentators have speculated that Fox may plan on an X-Men Fantastic Four shared cinematic universe. While a few hints have been dropped here and there, the studio and talent involved have been very quiet on the topic, until now. X-Men Apocalypse director Brian Singer was recently asked about a shared universe in an interview with Yahoo Movies, and he said the following. Those ideas are in play. That would be a natural matchup because they're both ensemble films, and there is a natural mechanism by which to do it. It deals with time. That's all I'm going to say. Clark, after hearing Singer's comments, do you buy or sell that an X-Men Fantastic Four crossover is going to happen? Oh, I buy it. I definitely buy it because from what I can tell in terms of Fantastic Four... Is anybody excited about this movie? Okay, John is excited. I'm actually quite excited. Uh, so that's good. <laughs> you are representing. Um, but I, basically, here's what I'm saying, is that um, when I see the fans and their reactions, I'm hearing about Suicide Squad. I'm hearing about Batman versus Superman. I'm hearing about Civil War. To me, this seems what the fan base is excited about. Or even, of course, X-Men Apocalypse. Like, what's coming up? Like, that's... But... I had to actually look up today when Fantastic Four was coming out, and it's coming out in two weeks. Yeah. So <laughs> what my point is, is that it does not surprise me that Brian Singer wants people to think, hey, and Fox wants people to think, hey, you know those movies that you guys really love, that you are super on board with? They're going to, yeah, you should check out Fantastic Four because that's going to that's gonna be important later. Um, so for me, perhaps that's a little bit cynical, but it sounds like a smart business decision so that you can hedge your Fantastic Four bets and as get people excited about X-Men a little bit more. There is no denying what the public perception is of the, the Fantastic Four. It's negative, and it has been from the get-go. I, last year, was very negative about it, but they have won me over. I mean, it, it bears repeating. They brought on a director I really like, they brought on a writer I really like, they brought an entire cast that I really like, and I've really enjoyed the trailers up to this point. None of that means the movie will be good, but I actually have some high hopes and some high expectations. I also buy that this is actually going to happen, and I find these comments encouraging because if Fox thought they had a dud on their hands right now, they'd still release it, put as, get as much marketing as they can, get as big of an opening weekend as you can, and then wait for the bad word of mouth to come out, and then just collect as much back as you can on your investment. To me, this kind of suggests, since they already know how the movie turned out, mm -hmm. They apparently haven't sent out a gag order to anybody at Fox about, don't talk about Fantastic Four or whatever. They haven't said, let's separate Fantastic Four from X-Men. Brian Singer's coming out, and the very fact that, that Brian Singer said, that's all I can say about it right now. Mm -hmm. That tells me they're not just thinking about it. That means they've actually got their plan when he says something like that. So if they've already got their plan, and Fox isn't telling them to X-Nay on the Fantastic Four stuff, <laughs> then to me that sounds encouraging. So I'm still holding out hope, and I do buy they're going to cross these universes. I'm going to sell it. Um, I do agree with almost everything that you guys have said so far, and this has been rumored for a long time that this was going to happen. I'm going to sell it until the two weeks when the movie comes out. Be sure. Yeah. It's, it's just because of box office return. It's really what it's all about. Because if the fan, because I don't care what critics are going to say about it, the fans are going to go either see it mm -hmm. or not see it. And if the fans respond to it, then I'll come back and go, you know what? I should have bought that. Because if the fans respond to it, it does well, and they want to see these actors and this universe play up into another one of their favorite universes, then yeah. So I buy that they're talking about it, and I also buy the fact they're sitting on, let's just see how it does in two weeks, and then we can keep talking about it. Because if it does well, then yeah, it's going to happen. I just... It's and it's not that I think the movie's going to stink. I just think because of everything that's been happening and how much how public it's been of the supposed rumors it's public right. the public rumors <laughs> as far as uh what tr what happened with Trank in the hotel room and how it was hard and the reshoots and all that I hope that it comes out and it is awesome and I mm -hmm. hope it's a surprise kind of what Rise of the Planet of the Apes was in August totally. yeah. in 2011 yes. that's what I want Fantastic Four to be um but yeah, I, I, for now, I got to sell it. Do you think superhero fatigue is going to play into this? No, and I don't think that Ant-Man had superhero fatigue. I, oh, I, 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 don't I didn't either. get a chance to talk about it in movie talk. That someone, well, Ant-Man only made 58. It was a small movie I, that yeah. should have made that money. Uh, yeah. and, and That was projected at 60. Exactly. I picked it at 65. Yes. so It I, did nah, exactly what we thought it was going to do. There's no fatigue right now. But I don't think fatigue's going to play into whether now that doesn't mean that it's going to do well. Right. It's because you put if if it was a Marvel if it was a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie that was coming out right now with Fantastic Four, mm -hmm. 
it'd probably have a much better chance. Sure. Um, and, and it's still carrying the stink of Tim's story. That is a not a small point you just yeah. made. We are still close enough to the other Tim story, yeah, Fantastic definitely. Four disasters, <laughs> that that is one of the uphill... <laughs> no, let's face it, that this, is the uphill battle yeah. that they're fighting, is that a lot of people still, despite the fact that this is com these are completely new producers, new director, new writer, new cast, new story, doesn't matter to a lot of people. We remember the Fantastic yeah. Four movies, and they sucked. I, and that's what people are thinking about I had about a conversation right with a casual movie fan about a week ago. And they're like, they're like, oh, do you have to do another uh, Fantastic Four movie? They just did that terrible one with, with Jessica Alba. And everyone, that's the first thing this girl yeah. said. And it's just casual movie fans like, I'm not going to see that. I'm like, have you seen the trailer? She's like, I didn't need to. All I was thinking about those other movies were so terrible. It's, it, you know, the, we have our nose in this thing. We, we, we know who, not a lot of people know who Josh Trank is, a casual movie fan. They may or may not have seen Chronicle. We all do. Our, we, we know Kinberg. It's going to be a hard sell. I'm it's very curious. It's an uphill battle. Yeah. But I think because it's an uphill battle, I think the people at Fox are smart enough to know that. And I think they know, look, Fantastic Four doesn't need to have a $100 million opening. What we need this film to do is not be a big blockbuster success, although that would be wonderful for them. We need this film to change the perception of the Fantastic right. Four. If it comes out, makes $30 million opening weekend, but people respond mm -hmm. to it and the critics like it and they've changed the game, yeah. they'll keep moving forward with stuff. Yeah. But that's a big if. Yeah. <laughs>